why upon all the topics that we should have treated why did you choose to really go in for mindset change for the ordinary african our the elites in our society and our leaders why mindset change okay i thought i chose mindset change because i thought it's a necessity and a discussion point that we as africans we need to have if you look at what's happening in Africa, if you look at the brain drain that's happening in Africa, and if you look at how many youths are trying to cross this Mediterranean to try to go to look for greener pastures, which in reality is not a reality out there. Um, and all is because of the way we think about what is out there is the perception we have in our heads as Africans. I have the strong belief that Africa is a continent where we can stay in Africa. We achieve whatever we want to achieve in Africa and we achieve it whilst we are still happy. Um, the materialistic mindset that you have to own a big car, you have to have a big house, you know, you you. You, you have to get up and go into a big supermarket, everything is in there. That mindset doesn't mean that people out there are happy. Mm. So it's how you feel inside that matters. So for me in Africa here, you go out, you meet communities that have very, very little, but you look at their faces, you look at the children playing, mm. they are laughing, they are happy. Mm. So I thought that is something we need to cherish as Africans. Mm. We do not have to look out to the outside world, the culture out there, to try to mimic it or to try to achieve that, to give us the comfort we want. Mm. Our cultures are rich. We have a community, family Family is rich. So there you can get the happiness you want. So that's why I think um, for people like myself who've been mm. out there, um, had a very good reason to stay there, but still come back into my home country, the Gambia, and try to make a change. And it's all about the mindset. So mm. instead of young people leaving Africa, going out to try to fend, to make ends meet, the opportunities are here in Africa. This is where you can start. But governments need to create that platform and the pathways for the youth to be able to do that. So that's why I chose this topic today that is the way we think is not the reality that is out there.